junk car That's where the light comes from, yeah We all need the same medicine We all need another second chance There's no first in line at the foot of the cross So what we're going to do today is you are going to do a creative art piece. So if you could see here, we have one word. We have the word love in the middle of a what looks like a picture frame. And so you are also going to sketch and draw a picture frame, but your word is going to be unique and different. What I'd like for you to think about is the story that we read and how each of you, you displays who the Lord is. And the Bible says that if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior in your heart, then who lives inside of you? God, right? The Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And the Holy Spirit is working in you to display who the Lord is. And so what you're going to do is you are going to choose either one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, self-control, faithfulness, goodness, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, or a word that you would really like to share with others. So one example is belief. Another example is faith. Another example could be unique. And so what you're going to do is we're going to start off with the frame first. You'll use a light pencil up to a 4B pencil and or a, just a regular number two pencil. So what you're going to do first is you are going to sketch. We've been working on our lines, so you're going to sketch short diagonal lines in each of the corners of your paper. So if you notice they're all facing inward. And then what you'll do is you're going to connect those, those lines with each other at the end point of each of the lines, okay? So if you see now I'm going to connect this one with this one. So you'll go from this point all the way to the next point. Okay, and then from this point, you're going to connect here, all the way here, and then here. To there, okay? So now you've got what looks like a picture frame, and inside of your picture frame, you're going to sketch and draw a word. So you could choose a word, if it's joy, you're going to write joy. If it's peace, you're going to write peace. If it's love, you're going to write love, okay? Then what you'll do is you will use what you call block letters to write your word. And your block letters may look a little bit different than mine. Yours might be a different style. What I want you to do is go ahead and begin to write your word. with these block letters. And it, yours could look pretty big because it's short. If it's a longer word, yours is going to look a little bit smaller. You may use capital letters. Okay, after you sketch your word, you're going to sketch around your word with either curvy lines or zigzag lines, any sort of line that could show a difference between the word and the background inside of your frame. So I just did like curvy, 
curvy lines around the word joy. Okay? After you sketch these lines, you're going to go ahead and create a pattern inside each of your letters. For example, you could sketch lines in here. These are like diagonal lines, right? Or you could sketch little dots. Or you could sketch curvy lines. It's up to you. You could sketch uh, your own design as long as you keep that pattern inside of your letters the whole time, okay? Okay, now you're going to pick one more pattern and you're going to include it. Do you see this empty space here? You're going to include it inside this empty space. And if you remember what a pattern is, all you're doing is you're repeating the same shape or the same number or the same line or the same design over and over and over again. So I'm going to choose to sketch little grasses here to remind me of the Lord, okay? You could pick a heart, you could pick uh, little squares, it's up to you. Go ahead and sketch a design or a shape and you're going to repeat that all the way around your frame. Remember in the empty space between your frame and your word. Okay. Easy peasy. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can email me if you'd like. Reach out to me. I'm happy to help, okay? I know that you're going to come up with the really beautiful picture so it'll be unique just like we talked about so now what you're going to do is you are going to begin to color and what you'll do is pick the color that you would like for your frame so if your frame is going to be gold you're going to color it gold if it's going to be purple you're going to color it purple what I want you to practice is remember what we've been learning and practicing about coloring in the direction of your drawing. I want you to practice doing that. So I don't want you to scribble when you color down here because I could tell when you scribble. So I want you to practice going in one direction when you color, okay? So what helps me is you could actually trace over those lines for the frame so you really see where they are. Okay, trace over this line. Then we can go ahead and begin to color. So you'll go ahead and start coloring with a color pencil if you have a color pencil.
And if it's easier, you could flip it this way so you can color it. I'm going in one direction, right? Okay, and then we can color this side. Then you're going to color this part. And now this part. Okay, so once you're finished, if you could tell this looks really light, but I want you to, if you, if you can, go over it and color over it one more time so it looks nice and bright. Okay. So if you could tell here, it was colored over several times so that it looks nice and bright. Okay, now we're going to work on this center part here. We want to pick a color that's really bright. So here, I'm going to pick red. We want it to be something that is different and pops out. And then what you'll do is you'll start to color inside this area here around your letters. So you'll go ahead and color very neatly. Around the letters. around here and what's so amazing is truly if you if you have Jesus in your heart it's through him that we can have joy right Going to color around the letters, around each of your letters.
go around and around. And you can color yours really dark, really dark, remember? Because you want it to really pop out. That's completely okay. So go ahead and finish coloring this area. So we're almost there. After we finish this area, we are going to sketch our, we're going to color our background. Don't forget, if you have an O in one of your words, to color inside of the O. Okay, now we are going to get started on the background here. So you're going to pick a different color. So it, it'll look It'll look different than both this color and the frame. You're going to go ahead and color around your pattern. So you'll do this all the way across, around your design, around your pattern. So what we're doing is we're making sure that these colors, they contrast with each other, which remember means that they, they differ. They, they stand out against each other, right? So you wanna make sure you just go around it. So you see a contrast. And remember, I'm sketching, I'm coloring lightly, but look at how dark we colored here. You could take your time and you can color it dark if you'd like. around and around and now after you finish this that part you are going to begin to color the inside of your letters okay so let's go ahead and begin to color choose colors that are different than the the color around your word so if you chose red then you definitely don't want to color your letters red. So pick a different color other than the one that is around your word. Okay, and after you pick it, you can go ahead and begin to color. Okay. 
After you color one letter, go ahead and choose a different color. And then you'll move on to the next letter. Remember, you could take your time coloring. Take your time coloring. You could color it a lot darker so it looks nice and bright. And then we're actually going to use markers to brighten some of the areas up. Okay. Okay, once you're finished with the coloring part, you can take out some basic colored markers and you're going to take your marker and you're going to work on the first letter first. You're going to use the marker to go over your lines so that they look nice and bright. They stand out and you could even go over the outline of your letter. Don't go into the color around it, but you want to just touch the, you'll want to just trace it, okay? Then you could go over the next letter. And if you could tell, we have here a little dots, so I'm going to use the marker to go over those dots. Okay, and then you could work on the next letter with your marker. You could go over the designs inside of your letter. And then trace over the letter. you could do is you can go over this outline with the marker as well so that it pops okay and then we're going to go over your design in between the word and your frame. So go ahead and go over it with your marker. Uh, the color, you can choose which color. Okay, I'm choosing yellow because yellow always reminds me of the light of the Lord. And it just reminds me that he shines and you could choose whatever color you'd like. If you have hearts, if you have little swirly lines, if you have squares, if you have other designs, or just a de design that is so unique, go ahead and use the color that you'd like to use 
uh, to share what it is that you want to share with others. Okay. So once you finish that part, you can even, if you'd like, go over your frame. And you may, if you have a ruler, use your ruler. That's fine with me. What you'll notice is there's actually a lot of math in art. You use math in art a lot. Art needs math because otherwise there really is no order. And we know from the Bible that God is a God of order. He is a, a designer and in his creation we see order and we see patterns and we see unique designs. And so we want to definitely do that in our artwork as well. Like I had mentioned before, what I would do is go over these areas that look really light and make them nice and bright and dark so that we could see a contrast between all of the colors, okay? Do you see the difference? It's a really big difference, right? Do you see how dark this is? If you'd like, you can go over those areas that need to be darkened up. So after you're finished, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and share your artwork with someone. Tell them about what you learned in the story and tell them about uh, what you drew and what you colored and what it means to you. Why did you choose this word? What is it that you would want the Lord to share through you? Uh, it's truly him who is is working in you you are his masterpiece right created in christ jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago all right great job i will see you later